Hello learners, my name is Vinita Dhawan. Today we will study about curricular and co-curricular activities. As in the last chapter, activity based approach, what we have studied? We have studied about the activity. What is activity? Activity is that which is performed by a student in his own environment. So among those activities, there can be storytelling, dance, drama, etc. Somewhere these activities can be divided into two curricular activities and co-curricular activities. So today our chapter is curricular activities and co-curricular activities and one more thing how the combination of these two activities are helpful in the helpful in the holistic and meaningful development of a child. First I will tell you about the curricular activities but before that some a little introduction for that. Curriculum can be identified through curricular and co-curricular activities in educational system. Organization of both type of activities makes a student active and brings sound health and physical fitness among them. These activities have theoretical and practical knowledge and provide scope to apply that knowledge into different situations. Now about the curricular activities. First I will give you the meaning of curricular activities, then about the features and the different types of curricular activities. So what is the meaning of curricular activities? Activities that are carried out inside the classroom, in the laboratory or in the workshop and have reference to the prescribed courses are called curricular activities. These activities are a part of the overall instructional program. There is full involvement of teaching staff in these activities. Now if we talk about the features of these types of activities, what can be the features? The first is curricular activities are formal in nature. Curricula involves classroom teaching instructional education, examination and evaluation. Curricular activities comprises reading books, going through newspapers and journals. In curricular education, students spend their time in laboratory, workshop or doing important assignments for the classwork. In curricular mode of education, students formally read about different festivals, ceremonies and celebration and on the other hand, if we talk about the co-curricular activities, there he celebrate all these functions. Now about the different types of curricular activities, there can be five different types of curricular activities. The first type of curricular activities is classroom activities. Now what we include in the classroom activities? Instructional games, classroom experiments, scientific observation, guidance program, examination and evaluation work, audio visual education and making different charts and model. These activities comes under the classroom activities. Now what is the second type of curricular activity? The second type of curricular activity is activities in the library. Reading books and journals, taking additional notes from library books, making scrapbooks, making files of the newspaper cutting etc. comes under the activities in the library. Now the third type of curricular activities. Activities in the workshop and on the farm. Activities of various types of work experience or socially useful productive work, SUPW we say. What comes under SUPW? Knitting, cooking, carpenting etc. These are the SUPW work. These activity comes under these types of curricular activities. Now the fourth activity, curricular activity is activities in the laboratory. Activities which are carried out in science labs, history room, geography room, language labs, laboratory in humanities etc. These types of activities done in the laboratory comes under the curricular activities. Now the fifth and the last type of curricular activities can be activities in the seminars, workshop and conferences. These refer to the presentations. We see the presentation discussions that are performed by the delegates and participants on emerging areas of various subjects of study. So these types of activities comes under the curricular activities. Now the second part is co-curricular activities. Now I will give you the definition, I will give you a definition, meaning and features and the different types of co-curricular activities one by one. First we will talk about what is co-curricular activities. You know co-curricular activities are those activities which are undertaken side by side with curricular activities. They supplement curricular activities and prepare the students in the art of living and working together. If we give the definition, we can give one definition of this. Co-curricular activities may be defined as the activities undertaken to strengthen the classroom learning as well as other activities both inside and outside the classroom 
to develop the personality of a child. Now if we talk about the features of co-curricular activities. Among the features of co-curricular activities, co-curricular activities are directly or indirectly help the classroom teaching of the students. Co-curricular activities supplement and complement the entire teaching learning process and effectively impact student learning outcomes. These type of activities are also called extracurricular activities. Now the extracurricular activities gives emphasis upon the aesthetic as well as spiritual development. This is another feature of co-curricular activity. Extracurricular activity give emphasis on the aesthetic as well as spiritual development which are essential component of the education. Now co-curricular activities help in developing features like speech fluency and extempo. It is also called CCA that is co-curricular activities becomes an integral part of the school curriculum and the student life. Now if we talk about co-curricular activities, the scope of co-curricular activities is wide due to the nearly inexhaustible list of interest. A good platform to secure the future both professionally and socially and promote the leadership quality means it is a very good platform to secure the future of profession, future professionally and socially and it also promotes the leadership quality among the students. Second is co-curricular activities are of great source of developing students interest in studies, classroom and school routine. Now the third under the scope is it nurtures the students ability in cooperation, coordination, organization and leads towards a leadership. Now the fourth is these activities prepare a child for the future challenges. Now what can be the different type of co-curricular activities? These are seven, there can be seven different types of co-curricular activities. And these are first academic development activities, second aesthetic development activities, third cultural development activities, fourth emotional development activities, fifth laser development activities, sixth literacy development activities and the seventh is moral development activities. If we talk about the example of co-curricular activities for the primary classes, what can be the co-curricular activities? There can be recitation simple story writing, play, trade, music, dancing, drawing, painting, fancy dress, folk dance, assembly and reading. These kinds of activities comes under the co-curricular activities for the primary classes. Now if we talk about the why co-curricular activities are important in the school. So we can say what is the need of co-curricular activities in the school. This can be the co-curricular activities are at most needed to fulfill the aims and objectives of life. If you want to fulfill the objectives of life, aims of life, then we will provide the co-curricular activities to the students. Students participate in various cultural programs which help them in the socialization, self-identification and self-assessment. Means these things develop with the help of co-curricular activities, socialization, self-identification and self-assessment. Now the third need is the participation in drama, play enables the developing balanced personality means a balanced personality develops with the help of co-curricular activities. Students get acquainted with culture, customs and activities of other places due to co-curricular activities such as field trips, tours and excursions. If we take the students on the field trips or tours, then the students get acquainted with the culture and customs and activities of the other places. In the community work, students require to meet with many people and develop the capability of adjustment, sense of belongingness, unity and togetherness. Means these things also develop with the help of co-curricular activities, capability of adjustment, adjustment with each other, sense of belongingness, unity, togetherness. If we do the community work, then these things develop. Now, some values are also developed with the help of co-curricular activities. There can be seven values which are developed with the help of co-curricular activities and these values are educational value, psychological value, social value, civic value, cultural value, physical development value and recreational value. We will talk about these values one by one in detail. First we will talk about the educational value. What is educational value? As we all know that the classroom teaching is very theoretical. So these activities have great educational potential means practical knowledge can be imparted through the co-curricular activities. 
language and expression improves through debates means if we are doing debates in the classroom in the co-curricular activities then the language and expression of the students improve celebration of various functions develop organizational capacities and leadership qualities among the students means if you want to develop the leadership quality among the students we will celebrate the various functions in the school now if you talk about the second value that is the psychological value how it is developed with the help of co-curricular activities the activities as the name suggests meet the psychological needs of the students mainly with reference to the social demands of a people they help in expressing personal behavior and provide the vehicle for creative thinking these types of activities develop the creative thinking and the personal and the students can express their personal behavior with the help of co-curricular activities so this gives the psychological value to the students now if we talk about the third value that is the social value as we all know that the social cooperation is recognized as one of the important demands of citizenship this social cooperation is very difficult to teach through the school subjects like languages mathematics and social sciences so by participating in the group activities or co-curricular activities students learn good manners and develop a sense of cooperation students learn to appreciate the relationship of an individual to the social group so in this way social value is developed among the students with the help of co-curricular activities now about the fourth value that is the civic value development of civic value how it is possible with the help of co-curricular activities and the civic values we include taking initiative decision making judgment tolerance etc qualities like initiative and leadership are not always developed in the classroom if a student go on the playground there he can develop all these qualities and these qualities are also required for a democratic society now if we talk about the next value that is a physical development value how the physical development value is there with the help of co-curricular activities games sports and athletics directly contribute to the physical development of students other co-curricular activities also indirectly contribute to it these activities provide a useful channel for the growth and development of the body if we talk about the next value that is a recreational value how it is developed with the help of co-curricular activities by providing and organizing various activities opportunities can be provided to the students rather than spend their time in undesirable activities that is movies tv and idle talk means these activities provide the recreational value to the students the student if the student spend his spare time in the tv and movies etc it will not be useful for them so these type of activities should be conducted in the school now the last value is cultural value how it is developed with the help of co-curricular activities the co-curricular activities are of tremendous value as they help in providing opportunities for better understanding of our cultural heritage and traditions for example activities like dramas folk songs dance folk music exhibition and celebration of various religious and social festivals provide better knowledge and understanding of our culture means if a student participate in all these functions then he can learn the cultural value so this was about all the values which are developed with the help of co-curricular activities now if we talk about the holistic development of a personality we need the holistic development of a personality how the curricular and co-curricular activities are helpful for the holistic development of a child it brings a holistic and sustainable growth in the student and calls for the cooperation group work sincerity and discipline means these values are developed these things are developed with the help of both of these activities curricular and co-curricular activities we find that these types of activities instill the values in students leadership quality teamwork and also prepares them to take a bigger goal and challenges in the world outside how the holistic development of personality is possible the holistic development of personality is possible with the help of curricular and co-curricular activities we can say the combination of these two types of activities are very useful for the holistic development of a child now how it is possible activities stimulate playing acting singing recitation speaking and narrating in students these types of activities what it gives participation in games debates music drama etc help in achieving overall functioning of the education means overall functioning of, of the of the education we can take from these types of activities 
these types of activities enables the students to express themselves freely through debates means if we conduct the debates then a student can express themselves a student can express himself freely in another point we can say games and sports also help to be fit and energetic to the child now the next is develop the spirit of healthy competition these two types of activities develop the healthy competition among the students now in the another point of holistic development what we can say these activities guide the students how to organize and present an activity how to develop skills how to cooperate and coordinate in different situations all these helps in the leadership qualities earlier also i said that leadership quality is developed with the help of co curricular activities now in this if these functions some functions are organized in the school then they develop the leadership quality and they come to know how we can organize these type these types of activities in the school in the next point we can say provide the avenues of socialization self identification and self assessment when the child come in the contact with organizers fellow participants teachers people outside the school during cultural activity these types of activity inculcate the values to respect others views and feelings and another point we can say it makes you perfect in decision making these activities are helpful in the decision making quality it develops a sense of belongingness if these types of activities are organized in the school so it develops a sense of belongingness the students will have get together with each other and they feel the sense of belongingness in cc or co curricular activities these provide the motivation for learning these types of activities provide you the motivation for learning cc develops the values like physical psychological ethical academic civic social aesthetic cultural recreational and disciplinary values so these values are developed with the help of cca or co curricular activity so combination of these two types of activities are very important for the holistic development of a child so today we have studied about the curricular activities its meaning its definition its features different types what can be the different types of curricular activities in the school and in the second part part what we have studied we have studied the co curricular activities its meaning its definition different types of co curricular activities which are organized in the school various values developed by the co curricular activities and in the last part or the third part of the uh, lecture what we have studied we have studied the how the holistic development of a personality is possible with the combination of these two types of activities thank you